in today's video we will be making this saw synthesizer from scratch using Synthedit. First open synth edit, then maximize this and here we will create our first saw synthesizer. So right click on this canvas and insert and select container. This will be our placeholder. Here we will place our modules, the synth edit modules. Okay. Now double click here you will find IO mod input output mod and here you can insert your modules so first I will insert an OF form that is oscillator select phase distortion oscillator so uh, since we are making a saw synthesizer first we have to limit the selection so if you connect a list module a list entry with the wave 1 or wave 2 you see that this is the waveforms comes default with the phase distortion oscillator so you have to first limit let first limit the selection to do the, the uh, to do this <coughs> excuse me to do this just insert couple of uh, modules first insert go to sub controls list entry 3 next insert sub controls patch memory list 3 next go to sub controls old list converter A then list converter B again go to sub controls old now this time go to conversion and select bolt now go to old select list to bulls <coughs> and again go to sub controls old and goes to list now first connect value out from page memory list to waveform 2 we are using waveform 2 because this has none features that means you can turn off that waveform that oscillator so we are attaching uh, this to wave 2 next connect bulls to list to val to list list converter b value list to value next S 
connect choice to choice item list to item list and you can see this is coming from this phase distortion distortion oscillator now connect none to spare and saw to spare so this will be our two selection then connect value to value list in list converter A then connect choice to choice and item list to item list so user will select none or saw Next, duplicate this patch memory list 3, list converter B, etc., and connect it with wave 1. Just select them, copy, and paste, and connect it with wave. change this to saw to spare so we will have saw and saw you can uh, change its name right click go to properties and change saw to then con disconnect them and connect it again so this will be your new name now if you right click and click on panel edit you can see that this is our two forms You can select from here. Okay. Now connect this with pitch to spare, and here connect one knob to control the oscillator, oscillator volume so go to controls knob and connect it with modulation depth this will connect the cutoff volume mod volume <coughs> right click and unlock this knob go to text entry 3 right click properties and change its name to mod depth now if we panel edit go to panel edit and right click sub view go to panel and from here you can set the actual size of the text mod depth so far so good now right click and lock it again here insert an IO mod and connect this audio out to IO mod next go to container and right click properties change its name to oscillator 1 
then change controls and modules to true uh, controls and parents to true so this is our first oscillator right click on this oscillator one go to automation and here you can set the level this will reflect at your host parameters so this is float memory 3 knob that means this is, this is our mod depth to so change this name to mod depth and this is our selection type so just change this to private so you so end user can't select this